and welcome to this review of Forty Creek Copper Pot Reserve Canadian Handcrafted Whiskey. Okay, this is a Campari Group brand. Uh, Forty Creek was started in 1992 in Canada, it was independently owned, and then in 2014 it was bought out by Campari Group. Mm -hmm. Like so often happens when right. they get bought out. This won, this won many awards. It won a 2013 silver medal at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition and then 2015 the gold. Mm -hmm. So, all right, uh, maybe we better turn the light on. Just get a little more light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do that. So, you wanted to try this. <laughs> And it's 43%, 86 proof. Right, which is kind of uncommon for Canadian whiskey. Usually they're right yeah, at usually 80, 80 proof. But my experience with Canadian whiskey is kind of minimal. I have a long way to go. Right. So neither one of us have ever had this. So this is a first time for both of us here. I got a lot of drinking, to, I mean, a lot of tasting to do on these Canadian whiskeys. Well, it's dark. It definitely is darker than it's copper. Most of the Canadian whiskeys that I've had. Look at the copper. Oh wow. Mmm, this one smells good. Okay. It's almost got like a cream thing going on with the aroma, like a Yeah, it's like a Butterscotch. Yes, butterscotch. That's it. I'll go get some of that milk and pour it in here. All right, um, might not be a bad idea. Get some caramel sweetness as well, and mild alcohol burn. It's not mm. real strong alcohol. Definitely sweet. Not picking up on any like spice in the aroma, like rye spice. Or and like they distill the barley, the malted barley separately, then the corn separately, and the um rye separately and then they blend them after they're distilled and aged. Mm -hmm. Says Hall who, uh, you know, John Hall is the um, whiskey master for Forty Creek. Or the founder, I believe. Yeah. It says whiskey maker, but he was the founder. Yeah, he so says he distills each grain separately in a traditional copper pot still to create a spirit that is bold and complex. Patient extra aging takes place in white oak barrels and the resulting whiskey is bottled at 43% alcohol to complement the flavor profile. Excellent. From Ontario, Canada. And it's imported. I'd like to look up this company. Virginia. Wisdom Hall LLC, Oakton, Virginia. Which is interesting. John K. Never... Hall must be related. Maybe he's related. Wisdom Hall might be his relative. This one smells a lot different than any of the other Canadian whiskeys I've had. It's got that creamy thing going on and that butterscotch. <sighs> I'm liking it. Um, it's nutty. It's woody. There's a little maybe char. Maybe. Um, if there is, it's very light. I'm not really picking up on any char. The caramel or maybe not so much butterscotch in the flavor. It's more on the aroma. The butterscotch doesn't really follow through like I thought it would on the uh, palate. But like I've said with many with uh, video reviews for whiskey, I've said that whiskey to me tastes like candy. You know, I've mm -hmm. said that candy for adults. Right. Yeah. It does t whiskey. Uh, whiskey, uh, the blended, the bourbon, the blended bourbon, the scotch, the blended scotch, the, this kind of stuff. It all tastes like candy to me. So I'm yeah. not a big candy eater, which is good because I'm not going to start drinking a whole lot of whiskey. Right. I like a little candy. In fact, I want to go eat those. Three of those cookies that I forgot about, but um, not a big can hard candy person. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend this. I would this too. Um, I may have gotten a deal on this because they're regular Canadian whiskey. Um, they're just their base product. Uh, is twenty three twenty four ninety nine. I got this one for twenty six ninety nine, but I believe normally it's 
like mid thirties, like anywhere between oh, thirty two wow. and thirty five dollars a bottle. So I think I got I think they were trying to get rid of it because when we went to that world of beverage, they didn't have any more. Oh. So I think this was the last one they were trying to get rid of it. Well, I'm very pleased with it. On my I, end, on my end, I have no complaints, and I would highly recommend it. I would definitely highly recommend it, and it's a lot different than a lot of the other Canadian whiskeys that I've had. It's it's different. It's got that that Werther's original type thing on the nose, which you don't get with a lot of other ones, and then it has uh, just a really nice, sweet, um, pleasant. easy, pleasant, easy sipping thing going on with it. So yeah, highly recommend it. Okay. Thanks for watching this video production. And y'all come on down to Georgia. Georgia.